Moving on, one of the year's first major wildfires in Canada are closing in on the British Columbia town of Fort Nelson. As thousands of people across the nation are forced to flee, advancing blazes. The Pacific Coast Province's emergency management minister said that 4,700 people were evacuated from the remote town as well as a nearby indigenous community. Authorities have been bracing for another possibly devastating wildfire season after Canada's worst ever wildfire last year saw flames burning from coast to coast and charring more than 15 million hectares of land. British Columbia has opened multiple emergency reception centers and booked hundreds of hotel rooms for displaced residents. Across the province, 137 wildfires, including 14 burning out of control, are active. In neighboring Alberta, authorities said that crews and helicopters were battling 45 active fires, including two out of control. Meanwhile, in Manitoba province, officials said a fast-moving 35,000-hectare fire near Flinflon in the north has forced evacuation of 550 people over the weekend. After the blaze surge in size, Federal Emergency Preparedness Minister Harjit Sajjan on social media X called the Manitoba fire deeply concerning. Hazy conditions also blanketed parts of five U.S. states. Plumes of smoke from the Canadian wildfires have triggered air quality alerts in Montana, North and South Dakota, Minnesota and Wisconsin. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency issued an air quality alert in response to a band of very heavy smoke from wildfires in northeast British Columbia. The air quality index showed conditions across the states ranging from moderate to unhealthy for the general public. Season started again.